All right guys, what is up? Um, I had been doing some like investment style videos, but I do want to actually touch on, I do some Bitcoin mining, some light, uh, you know, not a lot of heavy mining, but just some stuff at my house. And the first thing I wanted to go over, because not a lot of people have actually shown it off, is the GT1030. It's not a big, huge card. It's actually a really lightweight, um, energy efficient card that surprisingly, um, like, stands up and punches with my RX 554 gig so this is the actual here, let me see here. Um, it is the boom the gigabyte GT 1030 like 2 2 gig and it's like the, uh, the overclock 2 gig version but um, I'm gonna show you it's actually in my rig running right here all right, there's the card right there. I just pulled it down off of the rail so you can kind of get a look at it. It's a pretty thin card when it's compared to, I believe that's the 560, RX 560, and there's a the RX uh, 550. So pretty little card and um, not a lot of space, but I'll show you how it's performing here um, compared to those two cards. All right, I have MSI Afterburner open, but I have it set. Everything is set to stock the way the um, the Gigabyte ships it, except I did have my fan speed turned all the way up. Um, I don't do that on like any of my other like nicer cards, but I figured this card was so cheap. I think I had this thing shipped to my doorstep for like seventy bucks uh, from Amazon. Um, this is not a paid endorsement by any means. But uh, this is just giving you an idea before you even like overclock it or turn the memory up or anything. Um, I'm using nice hash miner, and just to like show it off, um, it you know just the no CPU, just the GPU, and it's mining at about 33 cents a day. So nothing crazy, but it actually almost keeps up with my. RX 550, which is mining Dagger SIA at about 38 cents a day. And that's a 4 gig DDR5 RX 550. So, I mean, I spent a lot more on that card. The RX 550 was like 120 bucks. So, for almost half the price, see, it's 37 cents a day. So, for almost half the price, I'm almost getting the same amount of performance. And if I do remember correctly, the GT1030 is like a 30 watt card, where the RX 550 is, a, I want to say it's a 50 watt card, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll go more into depth, on the, into, in depth on the RX 550 and the 560 later. This is just pertaining to that. But I'm going to turn the overclocks up and see what I can get it to. Oh, and just for reference, what it's mining... Um, I just let nice hash, you know, pick it automatically, but it's it's mining Lyra 2 revision 2, and it looks like we're getting about seven, uh, seven whatever giga hash or hash, seven mega hash, so 7.1, 7.2, 7 it's floating around there. So I'm gonna overclock it right now and see what it'll let me get. All right, guys, I uh, just came back and. It let me, I've been stable now for about 15 minutes. By no means is that a testament to any kind of long-term stable. But I got the core clock turned up plus 200 and the memory clock plus 600. And I got this card up here hitting definitely above its weight. Um, it's pulling about 7.5. It's bouncing back between 7.5 and okay, well there's 7.7. .7. Um, on the Lyra Rev 2 and now it's bumped this card up above 40 cents so it is now hitting harder than my RX 550 4 gig card yes this GT 1032 gig which is supposed to be like a budget bottom of the line card mining not even like I mean I don't know what Lyra 2 Rev is Look, I got it's 44 cents now. I mean, th this thing is doing amazing for being a, a $70 card. Just doing some quick math here on the return on investment. So, 70 bucks divided by point, let's say 44 cents. That's what we're hanging out right now. I mean, that's a 
or 159 day, basically 160 day return on investment on a bottom of the line card, which for right now, that is not bad. This is, you know, October 30th, 2017. And I mean, that's a better return on investment than any other card I've had so far, which is the RX 550, 560, um, the GTX 750, but I'll go more into each one of those cards and how much I can actually squeeze out of them and on my next videos. So thanks for watching guys and this is Brandon and I'll catch you on the next one.